Welcome back to JSA TV, where we are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure industry. And joining me now, we have a first time JSA TV here. So, welcome Thank to you. Clark Story. You're the founder of Datex. Glad yes. to have you here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Well, you have a very interesting founder story. So, I would love to hear a little bit more about you and your background and what you've been doing with Mass lately. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, we started Mass in 2010. Mass is the parent company of Datex. Uh, we started Mass in 2010 to provide custom area handling unit solutions, primarily in the commercial world, some industrial, but mostly commercial. Um, custom solutions for very large area handlers for um, facilities like arenas, hospitals, universities, and, and now also doing a lot of data center work. There's no shortage of data center work to be done, is Correct. there? No. <laughs> so, We're learning fast. What What inspired you to create Datex then? Re really, our customers. Um, there's a huge cooling need, obviously, for data centers, shortage of air handling unit manufacturing. Um, so really, our customers kind of drove us into it. And we saw an opportunity to create an entirely separate brand, which we call Datex. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how we got started. So you've been doing a lot of moving and shaking and and not a lot of time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we were um, recently uh, joined uh, with Neos Partners. Um, they're an investment firm and they brought a lot of capital uh, to the plate. So we recently expanded to, we've added over half a million square feet. Uh, so we have a lot of manufacturing capability. Um, and uh, yeah, it more than tripled our, our manufacturing area, very close to our home in, um, in uh, Minneapolis area. So yeah, so there. So immediately, what we're what we're doing is providing air handlers, cross crack type style units, um, but we'll also be adding a lot of uh, liquid cooling uh, products and and other cooling uh, products for data centers. Yeah. Yeah. So you just talked about expanding in Minnesota, mm -hmm. where where you are are based out of in Minnesota. So yeah. yeah, and you were just talking a little bit about the cooling that some of the cooling aspects of things. So how will that enhance speed and capacity? You know, really really amp up cooling in data centers? Yeah, um, well, again, immediately what we're doing is, is uh, we provide like really rapid response for um, design and, and manufacturing. This just gives a lot more space. These units are really big. Uh, we're completing a project right now. We've built um, 400 air handling units that are basically the size of an SUV uh, in just a matter of months. So uh, we need the space for air handling, but it also become a design center for other products that we're adding. And yeah, more to come shortly. Yeah. Well, I look forward to keeping up with you guys. In the meantime, where can we go if we just kind of want to follow your story and see what's going on? Um, our, well, our two websites are mass-hvac.com. Um, you can visit us in Maple Grove, Minnesota. Uh, and Datex is D-A-E-D-E-X.com, datex.com. Um, yeah. All right. Well, we've enjoyed having you as a first-time guest here on JSA TV. Hopefully the first of many. Okay. Yes. Hopefully so. Thank right. you. Thank you so much. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in and much more JSA TV to come. Happy networking, everyone.